Hello friends, welcome to Parthams. Today we are going to see the very interesting uh, topic in day-to-day uh, -day life. Uh, for the every IT engineer or the every organization or the firms um, that are involved to gather the most of the details online nowadays. So what that's what I'm talking about uh, uh, the Google Forms that you know going to use uh, long lasting for the feedback purpose or getting information or the online forms. So uh, today I'm going to take you through the tutorial for Google Forms and how it works, what are different options it has. So what is a prerequisite for that? You need to have one Google account for this. Once you have Google account, what you need to do, you have to you know, hit to drive.google.com. Once you hit this URL, it will take you through your Google Drive. So it will show your drive hyphen my drive. So currently I have created a few document folders and the you know and the logo also I have uh, put it over here. <coughs> so there are multiple options like you know you can have a calendar on it or uh, you can keep the notes on this and you can have a task on it on a, your Google Drive. But additional to that, what else you can do? So when you click on new on the left hand side, just below the drive icon, you can create the folders, file upload, folder upload, uh, Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and more of uh, the familiar application as you know, the Microsoft Office or other uh, free, uh, free uh, or open source uh, uh, to, uh, tools. So today we are going to see what are the Google Forms and how exactly we can use them in our day-to-day -day life. Okay, so let's take a have a look on this. Um, so I'll just create a new, click on more, Forms. In Forms you can have two options, either you can go for a blank form or the template. So initially we'll go through the blank form and see what are different options they have. Let's say blank form. Once you click on blank form, see how exactly it looks. It gives you the header, header of the form and then the first option for this. On the left hand side you can see the title of the form you can provide over here or either here. Then the second tab you have that is the responses. What are the responses after filling or the submitting form that you know a respondent has given you? So that you can see here. On the top ribbon, you can see the customized theme. Then preview, preview the form after filling that form or you know while uh, working on that form or building the form. Then some of the settings options that we have will see that. Then send the form link or via email or copying a link. Then different options like you know creating copy, move trash and few more options we'll see that so this is a blank form what you get with templated form let me close one of this tab here let's go file new click on more and form from a template so Google also provides multiple templates it depends on a usage that is a personal usage find the time then RSVP party invite or the t-shirt sign up then event registration for work related like event feedback form job application form the time of request and work request and also some of the feedback and the you know education related uh, assessments and worksheets that you can get it so if you can see um, let's say uh, the course evaluation the most common um, form that we use after the trainings so you have to provide the, your class name here and the instructor name and the, what is the you know uh, the level of efforts that he has put and then contribution during uh, learning how you feel about this trainings and all then uh, the skill and responsiveness of this instructor and the course content and if you provide some, some of the de more details about the trainings so this is something a form that you can see 
uh, which you get it from the template itself you can modify it and add your own details on it so let's start with the fresh templated form so I'll just close this and remove it from my form so let's say create new mo and I'll create form from a blank form so let's de decide the title for this I have some of the details uh, let's say the student details so there are certain sample details I have prepared we will not use most of it but some of this uh, we'll use in our um, examples let's say uh, the student details I would say in the form name so if you can see student and details and form description let's say path hems public school let's say say this and if you can see automatically after clicking on this this field get updated and you can move to forms home from this icon as well and there is an option called as folder you can move this to some of the folders if you can or if you want to move it let's say I want to move it into Google Forms say move so once you move it and after refreshing and this page if you can see it will automatically move to Google Forms Google automatically gives you you know syncing of this uh, its items and the folders itself then you can make it as a star <coughs> for most commonly used or you know um, most favorite one and, and this is nothing but you know uh, the information bar that you, it gives every point of time whenever you add something say as it is it is automatically uh, start saving and makes automatically save and drive the next is our playground where we we are going to ask a question or repeat the details the second is the responses on the responses side you can see the accept response until unless you make it on the respondent will not be able to fill this form or uh, you know submit the form here after respond you can create the spreadsheet out of this also or you can say get email notification for new responses or the down responses in CSV form format so let's see the first option to form so before starting anything let's design this form layout and you know background color and all so to design the layout what you can see on the right hand top corner the customized theme what you need to do here once you click on this theme option you can put your header in this like a choosing image first you can choose it from work and school like let's say this book icon is quite good or you can choose anything like uh, you know books like this I'll say insert so this form looks a little bit good now to you know suit this color so what I'll see I'll say add this color and make it in background so if you can see the form is uh, filled in back end. now <coughs> background col color also you can change as per the requirement or you can make it white whichever suitable color is uh, there it will automatically populate here there is option to change your font style as well you can change it to basic <coughs> and decorative formal and the playful so if you choose a decorative so it will go in Latin then former it mostly like a <coughs> Aries and uh, other format then playful so let's keep it basic for now this is how you can design your page 
and you can have a preview at every point of time whenever this form is filled and how exactly the respondent will see this so I'll just keep this uh, page open or you can close it if you want so let's say um, Mumbai uh, student details for the school and very first thing that goes with student name now if you can see there is option to insert the image as well or you can go with the multiple choices or the more options to this so this is nothing but a section for this um, you know um, for filling a form so if I say insert image so you can see the multiple options in for the inserting image you can browse from your local drive let's say I'll choose this file and insert it so it will give you some idea like this like this is most common like you know um, when somebody asks to for a quiz for creating quiz and the options the image can be inserted for asking questions so for now I'll not use this and uh, I'll just remove this now for student name what we required in this I need a small name so student can answer this with a short text now I want it to be mandatory okay next section I should give it with a duplicate so this is nothing but a copying or a duplicating um, your section student birth date and if you can see on the right hand side date is automatically getting populated so if you can see there are multiple options if I say the paragraph it will give a long text option here and this is mostly used for, for you know um, putting the address for the respondent let's see how exactly this form looks now the student name it says let's say Parth Hams Parth Hams and this goes along but there will be limit for this if you can see and this will display uh, only this much string but for long text or a paragraph this will give you uh, long strings or you know paragraph whatever you have entered in this while displaying it now let's go back and uh, let's say student bird it this is also mandatory field and uh, I'll choose date here bird date so after refreshing uh, if you can see that the date is populated on your preview window so student can choose any name or the birth date whenever they are born like they can select the year on year year for example the student who was born around uh, 2010 they can select year and uh, month let's say January 1st the date gets selected let's say the next option on the right hand side if you can see there are multiple options that have been provided like adding a questions now here we'll see in this section the what are different choices has been provided let's say student bird it and class or say something else class so we have seen <coughs> short answer and paragraph here now this is a multiple choice option 
So once you say multiple choice, I'll add more, more, more. Say I'm going to fill this form for class one or let's say the standard one, standard two, standard three. If you enter, it will add the new options. And to remove these options, additional options, what you can see, here you can remove the option from this. <coughs> so when you hover over, you can see the Im add image also. So this basically used for, you know, when you go for a quiz or a puzzles, that will provide you the option to add images. So for multiple choices, when it is automatically save, and let's say after refreshing this form preview, so it will give you the option to select any one of the option from the list. Next option is check boxes. Okay, so for this, it it might not be suitable for your candidate whether um, they are going to choose you know the classes in multiple choice. Here I can say the title as um, payment mode, payment mode, and let's say the cash, then the net banking. debit card or credit card okay now sometimes parent prefers to you know make the half payment by cash and half payment by net banking or a credit card so that point of time the school fees payment can be made in two different ways or you know the Optionals can be provided because uh, the cash has to be provided for you know the bus services and uh, student fees can be provided by the credit cards. So the next option in a drop down list, if you can see the drop down. So I'm not changing any uh, sequence here. I'm just saving this and just refresh with the same options so payment mode if you can see this is automatically converted into a drop down list so here only here you will get only one option to choose whether you are going to use net banking or debit card or credit card now there is next option is file upload for example when you select this file upload um, it asks for a provision or you know uh, the make the permission for respondent to sign into Google account and upload the file let's say continue with this so for this we'll add student photo and here you can specify the limitation or the criteria for file upload so this will allow you only specific file types the first option so when you enable this they can upload the specified files like a document spreadsheet pdf video presentation drawing image or audio so for a photograph i'll choose the image file and max number of file like it choose it as one and maximum file size i'll go for one mb so whenever this file get uploaded it will save into your forms folder so let's save and i'll make it required field so when i refresh this now if you can see this student photo option providing me the add file so you can choose it from your device or i can choose it from my drive so currently i have uh, one image on my drive 
or let's say um, I rename this image with a different name let's say student photo so make it distinguish and I'll just add this file from my local drive student photo and uh, I'll say upload so when I say upload as this file size is less than 1 MB it uploaded this photo and let's say um, let's respond this uh, with you know details and with the date I'll just give uh, the date for this let's say May 1st 2014 and let's say submit so when you say submit just keep in mind the student photograph so once you submit this you can see there is automatically one response comes in and this will give you the first response as a path aims the date he has selected and the date and the student photograph so student photograph automatically goes inside the specified folder for that particular project so there is option called as uh, the view folder now if you can see it automatically um, goes where exactly my you know uh, the Google Forms has been saved so it creates automatically one folder called it as student details and by responses and the the uploaded file so if I go for student details uh, form location so there you can see the responses from this different responder and it has been uploaded automatically so basically you need to specify here with you know student details <coughs> and uh, you can give the instruction while filling this form like path hems photograph so it will easy to map this photograph details so if I say student name is Parth Hems and select this but it has a 2014 my let's say 5 and add photograph with the same student name and say upload so let's see how exactly it works and once uploaded and they have to submit this form and I'm going to see here how exactly the student details is getting respond okay this form has been submitted I'll switch back to my drive now here you can see the first student photograph is responded with you know these details this is how by default it works And if I want to export this spreadsheet, I'll choose this. But before that, what we'll go, we'll see more options uh, to be left on, you know, uh, these sections. Now after file uploads, we have multiple um, scaling options. Like first linear scales, 1 to 5 or you can say 1 to 10. This is basically nothing but a rating. So I'll say uh, one of the option like say one to two our student height and I would say 
So basically, the student height varies from 90 centimeter and to 90 hundred and I'll just add 140 centimeter. You can correct the spellings also. Okay. So let's say submit another response. Now we can see if student height is around, you know, 100 centimeter. They can choose this. And by calculating like likes and dislikes, the feed in the feedback form, you can take this as a, a ratings, a ratings one. Like uh, if I want to change this, um, like student wants their old class class teacher in new. next class so this will give how many student wants same teacher in our next class and like and uh, say dislikes or you can revert this as highest to like and uh, dislike to this And once you fill this form, you can see the student want their old class teacher in the next class. So currently we are keeping everything as, you know, mandatory fields. So if I uncheck this, students have an option whether they want to choose this option or not. So if I refresh this, it will automatically change to mandatory like they can you know go and uh, fill this form and without selecting that option they can fill or submit this form let's say I'll choose the random dates yeah And if they didn't select it, sorry for this, I will just resubmit this form. I'll choose any one of this date and uh, I'm trying to submit this form without this option. This form will get submitted because it's not a mandatory one. So this is about linear scale then multiple choice grid like you can put student likes dislikes gold rings Or we can say, let's see, student illness, student likes and dislikes, dislikes, cold drink, chocolate, candies. Eggs, vegetables, blah, blah, blah. So I'll just keep this to five. And the multiple option like yes and no. Now after adding this for multiple choice grid, 
Let's see how exactly this form look like. I'll just close this previous response and go with the preview. Now you can see here, it's formatted nice table here. So shouldn't like cold drink? No, some people not. Chocolate, yes. But you cannot select the multiple option here. Checkbox, I will be the checkbox. Then candies, yes. Some student likes eggs, some student do not like vegetables. So this looks pretty uh, nice over here. The next option uh, to choose in, you know, checkbox grid. So here they can have uh, option to choose multiple uh, things like it. Yes and no. So let's see the difference on here. So they can have multiple options. You can change this title as per your convenience, whatever titles you want to give. Or you can add one more like both. Next, <coughs> the date we have already seen, the time. So I will say the preferred school time. So they have provided 8 a.m. and 12 a.m., 12 p.m. school time for the students. So they can choose the time year. the required field and after refreshing this window they can choose this time with you know the 8 a.m. or they can go with 12 p.m. as well so time gives you option a.m. and p.m. and put the hours and minutes over here so this is about the section to be edited and these are the multiple options just now we have seen. Now if you wish to add few more sections in this like add a question. So you can add multiple options like um, terms and condition, terms and conditions and uh, I'll make it multiple choice and I'll say mandatory and option one the details provided are true and I'll be responsible respond Sybil for its authenticity so once you choose these options so I'll say the title as a uh, accept uh, terms and conditions for the details provider and once you some save this, I'll say there is only one option and without filling this, they cannot go ahead because we have made it mandatory. So you see adds question here and you can import multiple questions from your existing uh, existing forms. So if you can see there are uh, previously selected all the forms that will show here. So I don't have any option for this, but previously selected, I selected a party invite earlier. So for if I select this, the existing one, I can choose uh, 
multiple options or the questions out of this what's your email address and I'll import this question so this is uh, pretty nice now you can use your email address here and you can simply move it out above by dragging it now you can add the title and the description so if you miss the title and description for this form for, uh, or you need to add another section out of this so you can start with adding the title for example terms and condition section so to start with another section you can add multiple titles in the form so once you refresh this you can see the new section has been started here but this will always be the main header or the title for this form now you can also insert an image in between let's say there are multiple options like a camera or by URL by photos by Google Drive or Google image search let's say football and you can choose any one of the image so this looks good I'll say insert and you can keep it as it is to make it fancy or for you know specifying the title you can add some sectional images here so I'll just delete this by selecting this bean option now you can also provide the link for the reference for example if the terms and conditions are provided on certain sites or the URLs that you can provide it here or if you want to give some tutorials before submitting the form or the questions you can add the video here so you can go for a YouTube search or you can provide the URL directly here so I would say I have already created some of the URLs here from the YouTube and I'll just copy this URL and provide this over here and search this so once I select my YouTube URL I'll select it and that will automatically embed here so this is very good for online teaching as well like online classes so they can mention it as a lecture one and once this is maintained as a lecture one if you can refresh this video this will this will embed the video over here now once you click on this it will start video playing on the same window itself now the next option is add section so within the same um, context you can add multiple sections in this like a section 2 like you are starting with a different section now so once you add the next section you can see the forms is submitted in different different pages so let's let me fill this first uh, times because these are a mandatory mandatory fields and unless you fill this uh, this form will not allow you to you know the navigate to the next tab let's say uh, the birth date and uh, preferred time for a school say 8 a.m. 
and email address let's say blah 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 and gmail.com terms and condition details you can provide here and say next section 2 if you can see in our form it is separated in the next page so with this option you can create the next page for the same form and to add any any section in existing form in a section 1 you can see the option has been provided continue with the next section or you can choose as a section or a submit form option now let's see what else we have now so far we have seen um, how to create form what are different options that we can choose and uh, how to design the template of this form now if you have a final look and the preview of this form this look like this as an editor you can see the edit option here you can directly go and edit but those who are not editor they will not see this icon now let's see the next option after the review is a setting in setting you can collect the email addresses and responses reset so you can receive the responses received for the respondent so if respondent want to request the whether my res response has been submitted or not then it will automatically collect the email addresses next is the required sign in so once you select this it will show you the respondent will require to log in the Google and while submitting this form respondent requires to sign in so basically this is uh, used for you know identifying who has submitted the responses so respondent can do the editing after the submit this is always better to avoid the multiple you know multiple responses from one respondent they can go and easily edit edit after submitting or if they want to change uh, their responses see the summary charts and a text response so before submitting respondent can see the charts and the text responses like a preview that we have seen just now so the next option is a presentation <coughs> so this will provide the progress bar for the respondent if you can save this and if you go to back button and try to fill this let's say here we can see the progress bar now the next option is shuffle question order you can they can shuffle the question order if they want but I would suggest as a you know collector you should not check this option now confirmation message you can provide like your response has been recorded so this will display when the submission has been done also can provide the quizzes so you can add the quiz for every form or the responses so they can choose immediately after each submission and only um, they can see the missed question if there are any uh, correct answers if any and point values 
let's say save now before sending we'll see this grid option for a more so you can make a copy of um, existing form that you have created or you can open the existing form and make it copy to create the new one you can move it to the trash that is a bin the next to sharing on a, a different tools you can get the pre-filled link after clicking this I'll show you this once you click in this there is option called as get link so at the bottom if you can see there is a get link option once you click on this it is creating a link at the bottom and you can see simply copy link so to get the response you can simply paste this link wherever you want or you can simply provide in this hyperlink So currently I'll just close all the response windows here. Now, addition to this, if in a school there are multiple people who are modifying the forms, forms or they want to add more editors, so they can add add collaborators in this. So once you see, you can add people with, you know, uh, multiple uh, email IDs you can provide or you can add this restriction also editor can change permission and share viewers and comments can see option to download print and copy so you can add multiple people in this also can change this get link option by changing it so if you see the editor can be anyone was the link option or this link is available with them for example if I copy this and let's try to open into Internet Explorer Currently, I'm not copying this. anyone on the internet with this link can edit so in internet explorer you must have a sign in for this so currently i don't have any other sign in so we'll see that in the later sections so i'll say done for this or removing this to restricted mode now your form is ready to share now before you send this you have to select the send option in send form you can see send via email you can directly add the email address student details the messages to fill the form you can provide as this form has to fill has to fill by parents include form in email so that will attach the form in email or the link in the email so this way it, this provides you uh, the direct connections or you can simply share the shortened URL by this 
or the copy link that the same link you can see here or you can simply embed your link with the HTML in your uh, web pages you can simply copy this frame and SRC and put it on your websites so once you copy and share this link the respondent will get this link so once you see the respondent had submitted the responses so on the responses if you can see there are th three options are available so you can see the three responses summary the total points has been taken then student name how many people has been filled now there are two different name with the spellings that is the reason it shows the student response student birth birth dates this is really nice I can see how many students are falling into particular months and the terms and condition that we unchecked as a mandatory now the next is the question details from the student name you can see the student name and the the responses now let's export this into Excel format so if you can see there is a plus icon with the grin it will create the spreadsheet create new spreadsheet now you can see there are multiple options are available now say I have one form with this and I'm going to change the details here so as an editor let me see if I can remove no okay So I'm just removing collecting uh, the email address option here short answer student name say Hames Pal. so I'm just adding the new entry over here and let's see whether it is syncing with our Google Excel spreadsheet and um, let's see so okay now student name student name we change this oh. short answer And I'll just give um, done to this. Now let me rephrase this. Student name is Hems. I'm just re reversing this. Hems path, and uh, let's say twenty. 14 wow this gives me additional option to manually edit it say 12 p.m. hp at the red gmail.com terms and conditions and say next accept this and submit it let's go this will give me points here
now if you can see the response is automatically getting updated in the spreadsheet with the details so this is how the collecting student details is quite easy for every school and every student that you know integrated with um, online facilities so make use of this uh, google forms on a day-to-day -day life so this is definitely going to make life easier for current situation so i hope you like this tutorial and uh, we'll see you soon with a new forms how to create the different forms with the google forms for individual uh, uh, domains like uh, schools and uh, the hospitals and different sections those who require the forms thanks for watching this video please subscribe my channel thank you